With a heavily armed National Guard as a backdrop and the Mexican border too, the message was clear. Half of the governors of the United States have joined with Texas in our cause to make sure states can do everything possible to secure our border. Texas Governor Greg Abbott remains defiant in imposing a state border security enforcement policy even if it means clashing with the federal government and he invited 13 other Republican governors to bring an election year bullhorn into border politics. That has been threatened by Joe Biden and his abject refusal to enforce the immigration laws of the United States of America. The federal government is enforcing the law, but laws that have not changed since 1990 and are not acclimating with an historic global migration crisis. Policy differences in partisanship between a Republican governor and a Democrat in the White House means Texas has advanced a state security program costing taxpayers billions, including concertina wire, fencing, walls, and National Guard deployments. The blockade of a public park for ground patrols by U.S. Border Patrol agents as well, and bellicose talk that we will be able to maintain our constitutional guarantee that states will be able to defend against any type of imminent danger or invasion. Montana has had our soldiers here on the southern border for most of last year. And Governor Abbott, we're committed to stand with you. Every state is a border state. Uh, it's incredibly important and we stand with Governor Abbott. Although Governor Abbott's more aggressive tactics, including using the word invasion to describe civilians crossing illegally between ports of entry, have supporters here, not everyone was thrilled to see the Republican in Eagle Pass, Texas. We don't need more protection. You know, we don't need more people coming. What we need is help to take care of some of those uh, you know, social issue that we have here. We need jobs here in Eagle Pass. Protesters made their voices clear that they dislike the militarization of their community in the name of border security. Not enough people have taken a stand to say we don't want hate. Hate has no home here. They marched up the park where many say they watch their children play sports and which hosts the local carnival, but were blocked by police. John Moe, Scripps News, Eagle Pass, Texas.